Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to a very exciting vlog because I, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing the SEMA team chase. I would like to say, firstly, a massive thank you to the sponsors of this team chasing series. There's going to be two vlogs, guys, and that is Glaze and Gordon. But I'll tell you a bit more about them later because we need to crack on walk the course because it's going to get dark soon. Okie dokie, so we have come to uh, SEMA, which is, I don't know, it's only like near Ipswich or somewhere. Um, it's the Essex and Suffolk Hunt team chase, and I've done this team chase, this is the third time I'm going to have done it. So I know the course, it kind of, I think it stays the same every year, and I do the same class every year, because I do the novice bogey, which is basically, it's like 90 centimetres, um, and I do the bogey means it's set to they pick a bogey time and you, whatever team is closest to it basically. So you don't know what the time is, that's all fun. Um, so I've got Tilly here, one of my teammates and we've got a Nar Valley Bloodhounds team. Uh, so that's very, very exciting. And um, we are just approaching the first fence, which I shall show you. Okay, so this is fence one. Here's Figgy, this nice little set of rails to pop over. Um, and you start kind of where those banners are down there. So you've got a nice little run up and pop over fence one and the novice is yellow numbers. And then when you popped over that, you as you, Tilly's just said, you've got to go through the flags, which is here. There you go, Tilly. And then another little set of rails, which are here. Fantastic. Good jump, Tilly. Okay, so this is the first hedge, which is nice because it's got a nice ground line. But I would say it's quite, yeah, no, it's not, it's not big at all, is it? It was nice. It's going uphill. Yeah, and it is going uphill, not downhill. And then fence four is straight ahead over there. For these dog friends, Whippets! Fats and Whippets! Hi! Hi! Whippet party! Sorry, Willie, you're the odd one out. So this is fence four. Which is lovely. Tilly, it's not big. It's not big, I promise. You look, you make it look bigger because you're smaller. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so you're landing over fence four. And then here is fence five. Nice, nice turn to it. Fig is having the best time ever. <sighs> Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay, so fence six is behind me here. And this one is, well, it's got a bit of, nice bit of coverage with the old greenery here, just to probably bulk it out a little bit, but as a nice ground rail. Tilly, what's your thoughts? Looking good. Yeah? Ha Tilly actually just said to me, oh, I've been better off not coming. <laughs> <laughs> just turning up on the day. Oh. Yeah, but it's fine. You can just follow, follow us. We're going to do some nice straight... Yeah. Tilly had a little tumble four years ago when she last did this course, but um, she'll be all right. We're team Tilly tomorrow. Right, so this is an example of how tight this is. You go from seven there, that white flag, to eight, um, which is a nice, nice turn if you can make it. So, yeah, but oh, it's nice, lovely pristine hedges. Massive! <laughs> this one's, yeah, it's lovely. Number nine. Oh, <laughs> don't lame yourself before you've even got there. Yeah, this is, this is nice. Very oh, nice. Yeah. So what I found with team chasing is that it's easy. Once you're in a rhythm, you're fine. With Lara, if I fiddle too much, then it starts going wrong. But if you just let her go at her pace, she seems to be fine. And these fences are very forgiving because as hedges, you can just kind of brush through them if you get it a bit wrong. But um, the rhythm is key, I would say. Tilly, what's your top tip? Staying on. Stay on. <laughs> That is a good tip. I will agree. Here we go, fence 10. Again, nice 
nice, nice hedge coming from over there. So, and the ground, fabulous. Curvy. Oh, Will is very sensible. Curvy, go the fence. She says, Curvy, Curvy, you yes. can do it. Oh, clever. <laughs> right, here we have a little, would you call it a palisade? I guess, maybe. This is how big they are. Height on me. From the palisade, you loop all the way around to end up at fence 12, which is again lovely little rails. Lovely. Come on, Come on. Oh, she said, I'm cheating. Lucky <laughs> number 13. Here it is. And then you're heading. Oh, I was wrong. Look, there's another set of rails there. Going over there. Sharp left. Oh, it's so rainy now. Miserable. Miserable, but that's fence 14. It's fence 15. I'd say there's like a decent amount of width on that one. It looks looks okay. Oh look at these whippers. Meow. Meow. <laughs> oh, they're coming to find fig. Continuing the theme of the course, you land from that fence and whoop, tight turn round fence 16, which again is another lovely hedge which looks massive. <laughs> so I like these ones because they're all in a line. <laughs> so you go 16 over there, gallop down to 17, and then 18. If you can see, is that hedge. There. Straight ahead, my dear. Okay, this is this is one of the. I guess it's an open fence. Which Tilly, Tilly's going to go around and demonstrate. So yeah, it's it's got some it's got some height to it and width. and width. Yeah, but I would say that would ride really nicely if I had a few more balls. <laughs> okay, so we've got to this point of the course, we've got to fence 19, which is, okay, so you're coming down a hill, this is a hill, you can't see because of the angle, and then you come to this little hedge here, and then you do, you land, and then you do like a sharp left turn to that hedge there. Now Tilly, this is where the point of the accident happened last time, wasn't it? Yes. So what are you going to do this time? Hold my right rein and sit back. Yeah, there you go. If I get to the number 21, I will be happy. Happy? If no. Fall off past no, 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 you'll be fine. Oh, I've landed and I'm turning. Turn, turn, turn. And then. Oh, oh, keep on. <laughs> keep, keep an eye out. Look where you're going. Because after this fence, there is a bit of a whew, undulation. So, Tilly, I hope you're going to be sitting back. I, I'm going to try and sit back too. <laughs> Down the hill. So, you land over fence 21 and you come down this bit here. And then fence 22 are these rails ahead. And this is where you're approaching the end of the course here. Um, and you've been jumping lovely hedges all the way through. And then you get a set of rails like this. You just have to be a bit more forward thinking in your approach. Uh, not so flat and, you know, gung-ho. Just get them up a little bit together a bit more. And then this is the fun bit, because this is the gallop, which I like. I know, actually, the gallop's on the next bit. I mean, you're galloping the whole time, to be fair. Okay, so we've caught up with Ellie, who is doing ooh, the intermediate tomorrow for the first time on Polito. And this is one of the, what one is it? Where is it? Here, is that it? It's there. No, it's this one. It's this bit. Jesus. Right. Deli, are you okay? This is the iconic. Ellie, you like sitting back anyway. Oh my god, look at that face. Let's keep going. <laughs> Let's keep going. Right, this is where Ellie is going to be landing from jumping that. So, yeah, let's get those low angles. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Siding. Yeah. Kick on. Hold on. More to the point. Okie dokie, so we have reached fence 20, what is this? 26? 23? 23, I can't count. And um, this, can you demonstrate Tilly? 
Canter. So you jump this. Woo! Yep. Get on, girl. And then you do a loop. You do a loop, probably a bit bigger than that, realistically. And then, whoosh! I have no self-preservation, I just jumped. <laughs> Now, if you are riding in the open, or maybe even the intermediate, it depends how ballsy you are, people actually jump this as a corner, if you want to go direct, or as a bounce, which is just a bit ridiculous. So yes, I don't do anything of the sort, um, because as we say, we're doing the bogey, which is, for the time, it's not going to be that quick. Um, so then after you've landed from that hedge, you have to do a very quick woe up, because you've got the water crossing here. You have to go through. She says, oh, really? Really, it's wet. Oh, come this way, it's deep there. Good girl. Oh, she doesn't like it. Ooh. So yeah, this is how. It's not as deep as last year. No, it's fine. Right, so this is the last push for home now, and there is a big galloping straight up here and uh, I think there's two more fences to jump but this is where well you'll know if your horse is tired uh, but Lara won't be tired because she huffs and puffs her way all the way to the finish line you can hear her from a mile away um, but yeah we are nearly there last fence uh, well last fence for me I think we just go through there or is it last fence for everyone this is a new last fence they've changed it so Little, little rails to finish. Go team! Woo woo! <laughs> that was the most unenthusiastic woo woo I've ever heard, Ellie. Really. Willa's just rolled in like poo, so she's got to go swimming. Willa, do you want to swim? Do you want to swim? Do you? Ready? Swim! No, you've got to swim more than that. That's very anti. Swim! 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 Oh! <laughs> Just into the... So if you go through this gateway and then through that one, that won't be shut. That is the finish. Hurrah! Hurrah, doggies! You finish, you win! How are you feeling? Is it good? Yes. How's it going to ride? Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to ride it? Ride it like you stole her. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. I hope I don't fall. No, you'll be fine. Okay. You'll be fine. You're like, get that camera out of my face. This is Ellie looking kind of a bit. Oh, prank. No, pessimistic. Scared. Terrifying. No, you're fine. You're fine. Right, I'll see you Bye, Tilly. Oh, I'm just filming oh, yeah, you hugging. It's a bit weird. Yeah, but, I'll yeah. Be the yeah. <laughs> oh, I think it looks fine. So the course has been walked and it's looking really good and I'm really excited for tomorrow. Now I did mention that this video and uh, two videos actually are sponsored by Glaze and Gordon and you may have noticed this is one of their wonderful jackets that I'm wearing which has kept me warm and dry when the rain has been kind of piddling down on us today on our course walk. So I wanted to take this opportunity to take you over to the Glaze and Gordon website and as you can see it's beautiful. As well as stocking some of their own products, they also stock a great selection of amazing boutique brands. So they have country and equestrian clothing for men, women and children. They also have a massive selection of homeware, which I'm just absolutely obsessed with, and these beautiful accessories. And I could say I've got one of these belts and I will show you it up close in my next vlog. So stay tuned for that. And oh my gosh, this horseware is just incredible. Everything is such a great quality and just looks super smart. I'll pop the website link in the description box below. So make sure you go check them out. It's getting dark. Um, I need to go home and get ready, prepped for tomorrow, get Lara Lee all ready and nice and clean and shiny. So I'm going to sign out. But if you enjoyed this little course walk vlog, hopefully I'm going to be edited and it will be live before I've jumped it tomorrow. Leave a comment below what fence you most think forward to seeing me jumping and subscribe if you want to see more. See you tomorrow. It's me with the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Run away